As you can see on all of our wings now, we have started to do printing on the bottom. We've got more of a matte finish now instead of the glossy finish. And we're putting the numbers on here. This is the 1250 GT. Now, as you can see here, this is what I really wanted to show you is these steps. This step right here is a new thing that, uh, it's sort of a new old thing. This first started years ago when I was in kite racing and the Sword Ta'aroa guys had made a, a kite race wing that had a step in it. And it was like the latest rage, you know, of that month, we were always making a new kite race foil that was faster and faster. So they forgot about this whole step that they had come up with this in this particular time. And I've been meaning for five years to try this again. I've gone through winglets, which are what you see on many airplanes. A lot of commercial airplanes all use winglets now that stop what we call the wing vortices, which is a mini tornado at the tip of all airplanes and actually hydrofoils too. It does the same thing underwater. So just imagine you've got this little mini tornado and it's actually sucking air down from the surface and it gets onto your wing and tries to collapse over the whole wing and attach itself to the lifting surface. And that'll cause you to open what we call overfoil. You'll get a lot of air here and then your foil will all of a sudden drop immediately. You're like, whoa, what the heck happened? That's because you're sucking air. You got too close to the surface of the water. Now what the step does, it disturbs this air from trying to get across your wing. This whole flow here is disturbed. So it's much harder for any kind of turbulence to go across your wing. What has happened compared to the ones I've had with winglets, like our NL series all had winglets. Now those felt really good. I could get, you know, better pitch uh, control and stuff. Once I went to the step, it's like, oh, it's doing a winglet on steroids. It is way more, it's way easier to have pitch control. You could go through turbulent water easier. You feel less up and down pitch movements. It seems like uh, I can turn better too, because now that I've turned these wings down a little bit at the tips, it initiates a turn a little bit easier. And the other thing that it does is you can get winglets or wing tips out of the water and then come back into the water. And it's like you almost didn't know your wing was out of the water. It just reconnects the whole water flow. Just super simple now. And it's like, God, I wish I would have done this five years ago. It's amazing what the steps can do for your, your riding. As soon as you start riding, you're like, hey, wait a minute. I felt I was getting the turbulence and it caught. And that's because of the new steps.